Day 11, Mushy Peas, suggested pretty much every day by Sebastian, aka I Am The Sword, to no avail, and then successfully by Magnolia Denton. Mushy peas have been an occasional topic of conversation on the Week Air Reviews Discord for quite some time, with genuine disgust on one side and mostly marginal appreciation on the other. Number one Week I Review superfan Willow hates them and has told me that this will be the first video of mine she refuses to watch. Liam Nibe said that his girlfriend's enjoyment of Mushy Peas will probably be the downfall of their relationship. The other UK types, Phil, Sarah, Kojo, etc., range from inoffensive to I'm a fan in the right circumstances, and I can't pretend like that doesn't make me curious. I mean, the name is absurdly unappetizing. Is it because Brits are bad at naming things? Or are they trying to keep their best side a secret, the way that people hide their digital pornography in folders called work documents? Then again, when I thought about ordering them three years ago at a local establishment, the waiter said, honestly, I wouldn't recommend it. But. Was he part of the conspiracy? Are Willow, Liam, and all of them in on it? Today we find out. These are minted mushy peas from Joneswood Foundry on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, New York. They cost $8, which frankly feels absurd, but that's what I get for living in New York. I had considered getting it with fish and chips to go full on stereotype, but honestly, I didn't think that would travel very well, so instead I went with a chicken and leek pie with mash. I also got a sticky toffee pudding. All of this will be new to me, but you're not here for these. You're here for the inevitable anticlimax that will be my first experience with mushy peas. And I'm not joking here, this is the end of the pre-written section. I don't have the faintest idea what I'm going to say next. Whoa! Oh, wow. Oh, God, that... Oh, there was so much more going on than I expected. Wow. Whoa. Oh, man, I... Whoa. Whoa. I know the joke is that British food has no flavor. But no, there's a... There's a ton of flavor going on in there, and that's wild. And I don't know if it's just because of the mint, and, and definitely I can taste the mint. I don't know what mushy peas are typically seasoned with. Um, you know, I see some pepper at the very least, but like, there is, there's just like a lot. It smells very green, right? It smells healthy. It doesn't taste like peas. <laughs> I don't even know what, I've never, I've honestly never had anything like this. And like, I'm not enjoying it. Like I'm really not, but I also weirdly feel compelled to keep eating it. Maybe it's just cause I haven't eaten in five hours, but like, huh. This is genuinely baffling in a, in a way that I just, I, I didn't expect, I can, I can see why this is controversial, you know? Honestly, I get why there are people who hate this and people who don't hate it. I, I don't even know where I fall. Huh. Hottest of hot take, 6.7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Thank you particularly to my patrons, my mom, 
Hammer and Marco, Kat Sericata, Benjamin Schiff, Anthony Cole, Magnolia Denton, Elliot Fowler, Greg Lucina, Kojo, Phil Bates, Willow, I Am the Sword, Riley Zimmerman, Claire Bear, Taylor Lynn Deese, and the folks who'd rather be read than said. If you like this video, that's great. If you want to see more, I uh, suggest what you want me to do next in the in the comments there. Did I overrate it? I might have overrated it. I don't even remember what I gave it. 6.7? Yeah, I feel like I overrated it. I feel like that's too close to good. All right, whatever.